subscribe to and you're watching Excalibur Forge's channel for gaming readings and more. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, a follow up on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. Bye! Well, here we are again. New game, a new intro, and a new girl. At least I hope so, by the time I post this. Yeah, it's a uh, Man of Medan. It's a horror game. A little quick time action. I've, uh, I think I've watched the playthrough once, but let's get started, shall we? I'm all tingly with excitement. Flag draped coffins here. Here we are in Shanghai looking for a Filipino hooker. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, okay. give me a quarter. Raise what? yourself. I'm gonna find out my future. It's gonna be violent. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You have Hmm. Can I fight the old man? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Dragon tile or bamboo tile? I think is the dragon's good luck, so that's our boy. Like a fish? Fish, my son's a fish. Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Finish him. Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Took off my chat for a second there. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Level two. Fight. Who are you in 
你说你可以搏斗。Fast now. Ah! I zigged when I should have zagged. Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Fifty cents, boy. Put the chemicals in a non leaky part of the ship. You want zombies? Because that's how you get zombies. Fight necromorphs now. Sunny boy, you pops, come back soon. Dead body still there. Don't look so surprised. Oh, look, he's 50 cents back. You can use your fingers to obtain items by pressing the left mouse button. Coins there, man. I want them. I have his pen at least.
Charlie. How's your time off? Get me out of here. Just found a dead body in sick bay. How are you doing? What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. S to Ninja. You had your chance, man. What the hell? I think we're past the stage of what the hell. What was that? Your son, he's come to visit you, man. Give him a hug. him in the mess hall he was fit as a fiddle poor fucker does he need some buckley's cough syrup to feel better Hold shift to walk faster. They never invented running in the 40s, apparently. Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy to let you talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? feeling it's all these dead bodies they're making me uneasy for some reason could that be it
Oh God, no. Charlie! S to stay calm, man. Get with the program. Hey, sailor. Being attacked by Scarecrow. dinner for me? Welcome to my repository. Open flame near old dusty books. I am the curator. The curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? or too painfully. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions, or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. That's only clean up.
Get some sandals, man. You're going to get splinters. He's innocent. Nobody's innocent. Show me how the pros do it. Muff diving, it is. Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like... Super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? They don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. I'm not good with people. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. But shut up. You gotta... Loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid, like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. It's like Steve Urkel is alter ego. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Give us some thought, man. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Excited, reckless, foolhardy, relaxed. Oh. Isn't that precious? Sorry, Connie. This is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Comrade Conrad. I'm gonna finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey, Bradley. <laughs> I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Hey, man. Wanna crack a colon with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would've gone with you. Well, I better. Yeah. yeah cool. My brother told me to. I'm gonna vomit later, but... Right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? No, sir. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. Don't say it like that. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Impatient, courageous. 
Those are synonyms. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Pass in your seat belts. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Did I do that? What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. Trust in Brad. Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities. As no. a reported wreck? Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't die? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, boo. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hmm. I don't think might be a way in. What's this? Let's do more. Born in 83. On the rear is authorized conduct classes and designated specially as sanctioned dive master federation. This doesn't look kosher. Kosher. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, and laws, and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experience. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific 
protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. You lecture me about illegal? You're a fraud. Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Wait, what did the computer say? Dead body in here? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Her douche? It's only smelled as good as it cost. It's made her happy. Shroud of innocence. Sorry, that Bruski got the better of me. Forget about it. Hey, all part of the adventure. Dude, thanks for ready when Sorry you for are. putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Do more than that, just a script trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Sucking me back when I walk past stuff. It's really frustrating. Huh. What am I looking at here? The future. High and dry. Preferably more high than dry if we're lucky. Sure. No. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Turn it back on, man. Hey. Hello. What's this? Friends nudes on here. Kill an albatross, how about that? Okay, so this is the rebreather. 
way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. OK, you little clownfishes. I'm going to go see what Bliss is up to. What'd you just call You would heft. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. Kids, you ever have to use to one? Go. On a shark? Nope. Just remember the rules, please. Bliss better not be pissy this whole trip. Yeah, she should remember who's signing the checks. Very large checks. Ought to buy us at least a little wiggle room with the rules. I get the boat, so do I? Sea monkeys. Oh, you good? More or less. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, we're not? A souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> it's not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That's it. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You? Are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. She can hold her liquor and, like, what's his name? Steve Urkel. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it's Major business. at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan? Yeah, I'm smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. I need your stinking money. I built this business from scratch. I took out a loan on my boat, and that's all the help I need. Thanks. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Let's keep that in sight.
How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Let's say nothing. Is that an option? I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. So, how did you figure it out? Everyone was just looking at where the plane was headed. But I asked myself, where was the plane from? You know, where was that airbase? So I made some guesses based on that hypothetical return flight and... I guess I guessed good. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Mm, okay. Why do I keep these around? Why wouldn't you? Nothing like a good premonition to get the blood flowing. Saw this already. Didn't know there was this drawer here before. Just shove it away again, eh? Yeah. Can I not, not look at that? Letters, former work of notification that you're in default of your obligation to rate your good appearance as a personal loan. This one will be a reminder of 24 grand with a sum of 3 grand payable August 1st. This amount has been overdue since that date. You appear to have ignored multiple requests for payments as discussion to your debt. The standing is met, is received. We will have no choice but foreclosure against your collateral of the vessel Duke of Milan. Well, damn. She does need money. Hey there, how's it hanging? Never been. You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend... Man the guns. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that?
guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. How much for a new, new eyeball? Dibs on the skull. Comrade said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. Nailed it. Careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? That was a freebie premonition. A few gander in here, shall we? Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? What if I don't? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. I got my oh, fingers man. on the quick Seriously? time keys, don't worry. Am I dead? What's happening? We have a little edgelord. Japanese hentai for us today. Area 1 clear, area 2 clear, area 3 clear. Am I to flip this over? It says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. Cousins plane? Kowalski? Something island? Destination? Unknown. They were on their way to help out a ship. Pass them. Brad's 
Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Always loot the body. I have to hold down the mouse button for this stuff. Too late, he's dead. I bet if you cut yourself on the metal, it draws blood, not attracts it. You fail that quick time event. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I, uh... I love you. What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's, it's not the best time. Some meaningless death. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We really got to get up top. Cliff, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Where the hell come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, Barbecue without us? Go, you fiend. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's alright now. 
It is a barbecue, damn. There was a little uh mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. Getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong. Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they <coughs> value later on. You're doing well. I am. <coughs> Do you know what? I'm doing so well, I want to end on a high note. Yeah, so, uh, broke some ice here, went some diving. Only one failed quick time event so far. I'll try to fix that next time. But, once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.